Here's another very interesting one. And you have to focus on the text here because if you can understand the text, it's easier. Okay. A BJT, a bipolar junction transistor, must have an input impedance and a gain that exceeds certain values. It should have a gain and input impedance that should exceed a certain value, which is very close to the performance limits of the BJT, bi -junction, bipolar junction transfer, uh, transistor. And some of the BJT devices do not meet the expectations. Okay, there are few devices which do not meet the expectations. Okay, what are those numbers now in terms of those who meet expectations and those who don't? 46% of BJTs have an input impedance that is too small. Input impedance being very small. So I'm going to break it down so it's easier for us. So low input impedance. 46% of the BJTs have an input impedance that is too small. So small input impedance or low input impedance. 46%. All right. Now, 52%. 52% of the BJTs have a gain that is too small. So small gain is 52% here. All right. <clears throat> Let's move on. Also, 24%. 24% of the BJTs have both, this is important, 24% of the BJTs have both input impedance and gain being too small. 24% of the BJTs have both low impedance and also a very small gain. What is the probability that a BJT selected at random will meet specifications? All these three categories that you see over here, 22% have the low input impedance, 28% have the small gain, and 24%, which can also be written as 0 0.24, has both low impedance and the small gain. So if I add these three numbers and then subtract it from one, that would give me the probability that a BJT selected at a random will meet the specification. So 1 minus 0 0.22 minus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.24 minus 0 0.24. And if I do the math here, that this is going to give me 0 0.26. In other words, it can also be the chances of picking up a random BJT, 26% chance that it is going to have a gain in impedance that meets the expectations or specifications. And again, I just want to emphasize one more time, if you are still confused, why are we subtracting 24% here and here? Remember that 24% is already included here. So I have to subtract 24% from this 46%. Otherwise, we are double counting it, right? Low input impedance and small gain. These 24% of the BJTs have both the low impedance and the small gain. And because we have a bigger number here, low input impedance, we have to subtract 24%, otherwise they will be counted twice because we are counting them here as well. And therefore there's a subtract. And the total overall probability is gonna be one, that's the highest we can have, minus this number, minus this number, and minus this number. I hope you get this.